subject of towels. A towel, it says, is about the most massively useful thing any interstellar hitchhiker can carry. For one thing, it has great practical value. You can wrap it around you for warmth on the cold moons of Jaglan Beta, sunbathe on it on the marble beaches of Santa Regina's Five, huddle beneath it for protection from the Acturan Meganats as you sleep beneath the stars of Kakrafu, use it to sail a mini raft down the slow, heavy river Moth, wet it for use in hand to hand combat, wrap it round your head to avoid the gaze of the ravenous bug bladder beast of Tron which is such a mind-bogglingly stupid animal, it assumes that if you can't see it, it can't see you. And even dry yourself off with it if it still seems clean enough. Much has been written on the subject of towels, most of which stresses the many practical functions they can serve for the modern hitchhiker. Two seminal books are Wordle's Names, Compendious Tome, Bath Sheets in Space, which is far too large to carry, but sits magnificently on fashionable coffee tables, and Frank Gant's handbook, Heavily Modified Face Flannels, an altogether terse work for masochists. However, only the Hitchhiker's Guide explains that the towel has a far more important psychological value in that anyone who can hitch the length and breadth of the galaxy, rough it, slum it, struggle against mind-boggling odds, win through, and still know where his towel is, is clearly a man to be reckoned with. Hence a phrase which has passed into hitchhiking slang as in, Hey, you sass that hoopy for a prefect. There's a brood who really knows where his towel is. Sense, no, the aware of meat, have sex with. Poopy means really together guy, and fruit means really amazingly together guy. 